While using Pivot Table and Power Query, you have to manually refresh the Pivot Table reports and the Power Query table every time the source data changes. In this tutorial, we are learning a very simple line of code that will automatically refresh your Pivot Table and Power Query connections. Let's get started. So we have a very simple source data that is contained within the Excel table and using the same Excel table, we have the Pivot Table report containing names of the customers. And here we have the Power Query table that also contains the names of the customers. So, like I said, if I add a new customer like this, I will have to manually refresh Pivot Table and Power Query manually by going to each of them separately. So I have the pivot table selected. I will go to analyze tab and then hit refresh like this. I can also use the shortcut key Alt F5. Same way for Power Query, I will have to select the Power Query table and then going to Query tab, I will have to hit refresh button to refresh the connections and fetch the new source data. Now, like I said in the intro, we can automate the refresh process by using a very simple code. So go to the developers tab, you can click Visual Basic or you can also use the shortcut key Alt F11 on the keyboard to enter the Visual Basic Editor mode. Now once you are inside the Visual Basic Editor, remember our source data was on worksheet one or the one that had the name source data, double click on this worksheet and now you will have a new window where you can punch in your VBA code. All right, from the first drop down, select worksheet, and from the second one, select change. Get rid of the selection change line of code. We don't need that. Make sure you have the cursor in between these two lines so that your code runs without any problem. Now that said, press tab key once. Now, this is only for indentation purposes. It makes reading the code much easier. However, you can skip this step if you don't want to. Pressing the tab key is only meant for aesthetic purposes. Start typing this workbook dot and from here you can select the function or the task you want to perform on this workbook and I want to refresh it, refresh all. Now, once that is done, go back to Excel by hitting Alt F11 on the keyboard or clicking this icon. We are back in our Excel workbook. And just to confirm if whatever we have intended is working properly, we are going to add a new customer with the name Professor. Let me quickly complete the dummy data. As I already have the code, to fetch the data for me automatically, I'm expecting that both of my Pivot Table and Power Queries should have the new customer listed. So let's see, first of all, Pivot Table, and you have the Professor customer listed. And similarly, you have the Power Query containing the new customer that goes by the name Professor. So there you have it, a very simple line of code that can fetch the latest data for your Pivot Table and Power Query connections. Hope you have liked this video. If this is the case, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and push the notification bells icon so that you stay in the loop and get notified for any new video that I release. Until next video, I'm your host Hassan Fazal and happy excelling.